Uh, well, my name is uh, Second Lieutenant Asher Brunson, and I'm from uh, HSC 777, and I'm the third platoon leader. And our sole uh, purpose in this area right now was to conduct a uh, recovery drill, which would uh, consist of having a vehicle uh, come into this pit right here and to get uh, purposely stuck to uh, rehearse um, our recovery operations with our Hotel 8s. Uh, uh, usually that operation takes about maybe tops 30 minutes and we we're supposed to move in here as a, a tactical convoy and set up our, our, our security points, uh, get our Hotel 8 set up and get our vehicle stuck. And within 30 minutes, get, get the vehicle unstuck and then uh, continue moving on with the mission. Uh, well, we, we definitely do this uh, type of training uh, pretty often. We started ramping up on the training recently. Uh, this this uh, type of training is super important because like when you're overseas and and you're uh, conducting movements throughout the, uh, different types of areas because you can have your security points set up. Uh, you can have your Hotel 8 spun up on what they need to do and they're familiar with their equipment and we're familiar with how to get our operations uh, uh, moving from uh, point A to point B and it's a seamless process. I feel like my team did awesome. Uh, Sergeant Devers here, man, he, he's uh, top notch. I, I, I definitely picked him as my NCYC, which is a non-commissioned officer in charge. I'm the OIC officer in charge, and I definitely love to have him uh, on my on my missions and with my with me on my, my side. And and uh, he he's done a great job. He's uh, he definitely knows what he's doing. He's uh, definitely the most experienced Hotel Eight we have here, honestly, right now. That's why I chose him to lead this mission and to help me uh, get me spinning up on what I need to do. Uh, my name is Justin Devers, Sergeant. I've been in, I'm in the 777 ASB. I am one of their senior mechanics as well as their Hotel 8, senior Hotel 8, which is an identifier we add on to a mechanic that's proven themselves and go to school for two weeks. They end up learning equipment style, how, what to drive, how to drive it, what they can and can't do. The equipment's diversified amongst everything. Mainly we use two pieces of equipment. One, we use a Hemet, which you see behind me. And then the other one is an LTAS, which is a uh, tactical, a medium tactical vehicle. And what that does is allow us to diversify our loads as far as weight distribution and everything else. The mission here today was to make a tactical convoy out into a, per, a known mission area, make sure we knew exactly how and what to do, secure points. And our job as Hotel 8 was to make sure that we got in and out as fast as possible with as much safety involved as can. Uh, equipment's in fine condition, everything went well, minus a few things here and there, but uh, we had a few snags, hiccups, just equipment. It gets used a lot, so eventually we have a few things that loosen up or get in the way, and so we have to kind of dial back on the speed that we're going, so operational tempo, so to speak. Oh, most certainly, it added so much more training. It got more people involved. It allowed people to see what happens whenever something goes wrong, how to fix it, in order to maintain their calmness amongst chaos, so to speak. My guys did fantastic, first of all. I want to give them all the credit. They're the harder workers. I just maintain, make sure they have what they need and the equipment's trying to work as best. Uh, we, me personally, I think we all did wonderful. It got done quickly, efficiently, 
no no hiccups that really hindered safety. So if you're interested in being in Hotel 8, just make sure you work hard. Make sure you actually stay on top of it because it's not an easy job and it's not for anybody willing to take a seat in the back.